Hello everyone, we are Sorted Food. He is back, people. The Glaswegian Gun Show. The Copper Colossus. The Wish He Was Naked Chef. James Curry has returned. And for old time's sake, he's going up against Chef Ebers in a mystery box battle. You do not want to miss this one. Are you nervous? Yes, of course. Can't wait, but we have to be nice to him or he won't keep coming back. Boys, let's find out what you've got in your mystery box. Oh, it's very green. Mmm. Some rather large spring onion looking things. A mystery tin. I love a mystery tin. I love a mystery tin, they're the best. Some green stuff. <laughs> Excellent. And some pork. Pork shoulder steaks. Well, first things first, what on earth is in this? Butter beans. Okay, and you want me to use all of these? You must use all of these ingredients. Okay, well, this is like a cross between a leek and a spring onion. Quite excited for some spring-like ingredients, even though I still have no idea what this is. We're not going to tell you early on. I mean, it's, it's herby, but tasting it doesn't have much more. I don't know, but having tasted it, I have an idea of where I might want to use it. Right, you're all set. We'd like you to use all four ingredients, plus you have access to the store cupboard and bits behind you. And we're going to put 30 minutes on the timer, starting in three, three two, two, one, battle. Cook. Battle. So, I'm thinking like simple, easy stew. And I'm going to fry the pork, get some flavour in there, and then I'm going to chuck some shallot and garlic in there. I'm going to be honest, I'm still not entirely sure what the big leafy green thing is. So we'll see where it ends up. I think I know how I would apply it, even though I don't know what it is. These big onion things and the onion family, which I'm calling spring, onion, spring onions because I know no different. And I like the fact they are so large and we should celebrate their size. So I don't actually want to lose all of that. Typically, if I was prepping spring onions in so many cuisines, you just slice them. Mm. I don't want to do that. I want to kind of want to celebrate their length. So you're using shallots as well as the things that you identified as a kind of spring onion? I think I might know what they are, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hit it. They kind of look like shot, uh, cow shots, like they're Spanish. No? Oh, OK. These cool. are Italian trapea onions. Cool. Never heard of them. So I'm just taking some of the tougher outside bits off, and then what I want is just to slice them sort of lengthwise. Treat them like the base vegetable. All of these tops still awesomely useful, but just not for today. Okay, so what I'm thinking is bean-based base, sticky glazed pork, mm. but some of these veg all kind of through it. So I'm gonna start off with a nice hot pan and get some color on these, then add the garlic. So James, a stew, enough to win a battle? Uh, yeah, We've got, I've got half an hour, so I need to keep it simple. I was thinking of grilling the onion, get a bit of flavour out of it, uh, rather than using it as a base, which I'm going to use as shallot. And then I've got some bread that I'm thinking of just making kind of croutony things out of, so it's a little bit more than your random stew. I'm wondering if I can blanch this and like make an oil out of it, since I don't know what it is. Ooh. What I'm going to do is blanch these leaves, and I'm also preheating a pan for the pork. Pepper, salt. You're going honey straight away? Yes, because I want some real colour on this as I sear it. So look, just like a spinach leaf or similar, it wilts down nicely, but then we want to refresh it in ice cold water to stop that cooking. Keeps the colour that way, right? Keeps the colour, stops it going mushy. How are you trapea looking? Now the colour's there, the garlic can go in. If you set that smoke alarm off, I am literally going to have to go down and turn it off. Right, what is this? What is it? Looks fresh, it looks green. Uh, that is bitter, bitter, mm. bitter, bitter. I will put it in a delicious oil. Why would that work in an oil now? It's going to be subtle if it's in an oil. Uh, and it's going to look good because there's a lot of it. It's very green when it's blanched. Are they normally attached to something that's under the ground or over the ground? Or what's the leafy part normally? I think you would tend to use these in a ground spice form. Mm. Ground spice? Mm. What is it? This is fenugreek leaf. Mmm. Methi. Methi, yes. Methi, yes. yes. Now, now it's cooked, you get a slightly different flavour off it. I wouldn't associate that with kind of Mediterranean vibes that I'm going with. Well, that's changed how I might use it. <laughs> <laughs> well seasoned pork steak, so we get good colour on that early on. Beans going in around this. With the liquid. With the liquid, waste not, want not. 
and maybe a chicken stock cube. That pork is looking great. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? How long have I got? 20 minutes remaining. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to do a bit more multitasking. Chef mode engaged. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fry the bread in a ton of butter. I'm just gonna like tear it up. I'll chuck a bit of honey on there. Why is that? Um, Caramelise it, making it a little bit sweeter, but also cooking it enough so that it goes bitter. It's looking good. Now that I've coloured the pork, where's the rest of that gone, Ben? <laughs> this is our general cooking wine that we use and it stays in the fridge an awful long time. And probably to drink this now in a glass wouldn't be great. But what I want is the fruity and acidness around the pork. Oh, you've got to take the lid off first, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Along with some rosemary and some orange. That's taken a turn. Because I'm keeping it kind of Italian vibes, I think this would be quite nice. Are you happy with how things are going? Yes. Am I doing enough would be my next question because I feel like I'm nearly there. What I wanted from this dish was something super simple and seasonal and spring-like and it didn't need much effort. But now you're gonna say, that's not enough. So I now am wondering if I want to do more. This is still a way off cooking, but it's gonna reduce down. We've got some color on the pork. This is the cassoulet that I want to serve on top and it needs something else adding to it at the end. I mean, as 50% of the judging panel, I would expect maybe something else. Now's a good time to use these green bits. Oh, so he wasn't going to use those before. Because we don't like food waste, for sure. There's some that would be quite nice in this, because we've cooked and charred the base ones, which have gone nice and sweet. But I want now some of these that are going in a bit more raw in at the end. The bread's in the butter. I'm feeling a little bit behind on the old uh, stewy bit. I'd like to cook it a bit slower, but it needs must. Oh, I would have really liked to put some wine in there. There's one there. Some wine in there. Right yeah, there. but it's too late. Why? Because you need to cook it off and I don't have time to cook it off in the sauce. But that's okay. I'll just cook it off on here. I'm feeling a bit messy right now. So you're cooking the wine off separately because you forgot to cook it off? Yeah, so I can, I can just cook it off and then ah. add at the end to taste instead of at the start. You could have easily told us that was all purposeful <laughs> and we would have worshipped you even more. Is the plan still to have a herby oil then? Yeah. I could almost leave it like a thick sauce instead, which actually looks quite nice. Like maybe not, I was gonna put it through muslin and make like a green oil. I think this looks quite nice. Oh, oh. Does he like it? Oh, I like it. He oh. likes it. I like he it. He likes it. Is it less bitter now? Yes, yeah, the oil has really mellowed it. Oh. It's gone in for some creme fraiche. James, you've had half your time. There's 15 okay, okay. minutes to go. We've got our leaves, which I want to stir through but I do want a zingy, umami-esque kind of drizzly sauce. I'm gonna use the word pesto, but I'm not gonna pound it, I'm gonna blend it. Interesting. Using the stalks of the fenugreek. Interesting. Lovely. And some anchovy as well, which you wouldn't normally find, but also nuts and cheese and oil that you would in a pesto. There we go. The threat of James Curry <laughs> has- made Evers raise his game. He's raised his game, everyone. So all those saying this isn't a pesto because it's not using basil, it's not using the classic ingredients, to that I say, it's not a Genoese, Gen Gen not the one from Genoa, mm -hmm. right. but it's still a pesto in the sense that it's a pounded sauce. Okay. Same ratio I always use, the handy rule, which is... A normal handful, but... A hand small. of this, a hand of this, a hand of this, a hand of this, and a little pinky of garlic. Although my little pinky of garlic is also gonna be half pinky of garlic, half pinky of anchovy. And what's the anchovy gonna bring to that? Umami and saltiness, not a fishiness to go with the pork, but a deliciousness. The good thing about that ratio is it doesn't matter you, whether you've got normal sized hands or really tiny No, hands. you just make a smaller portion exactly. if you're ever. Yeah. Now that pork and wine mix just going in there, I'm just going to let down the beans a bit with it. Nice. Now's a good time to add in the spring onion and this to warm through. I don't actually want it really to cook as such. Very excited to try this. Yeah. Very excited. Oh. Oh, orange in there. Ebers. 10 minutes left. Oh. How are you feeling? Stressed out. Oh. Oh, these would have been nice in here. Oh, what's that? He's chucking some garlic into his yeah, croutons. Yeah, a little bit of garlic, yeah. Oh. So what's the plan for these onions? Oh, I'm kind of unsure about the onions, to be honest. Maybe I should have started with the onions. It's a bit late for a realisation like that, mate. It is a little bit. Are the onions going to cook in time? What are you doing now? Uh, I'm making a bean puree hummusy thing. So I'm taking half the beans. So I've still got my stewy thing. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna add a load of creme fraiche and I'm gonna add a couple of cloves. So raw garlic. Mm -hmm. So you've got like the cooked garlic there and a little bit of wine. I'm enjoying different elements that are gonna end up on a 
plate or in a bowl, mm. made of the similar ingredients. That looks loose. It is loose. <laughs> it is very loose. Maybe looser than I would have liked. <laughs> How do I thicken that? <gasps> oh, this is, we are watching. Hello. <laughs> Just, this is improv. This is great. How are you feeling, Ebers? Happy? Yep, gonna have a little taste. It's obviously very different to what we know as pesto because it hasn't got the fragrance of basil and it's got this is quite bitter. So it needs something to offset that. And having done orange, it does also need a bit of lemon. That's giving it a fragrance, but you need the acidity of that as well. Now we're talking. Oh, he's excited with that. The pork is in the pan. I think this is going okay. Yeah? Yeah. What is that? What are they? Uh, walnuts. In the juices. How long have I got? <laughs> Seven and a half minutes to go. Usually I would have really have liked to throw some plates by now. Give me a brief. I can go and see if I can locate something in Thinking accordance like with your brief. Earthy, natural, like shallow bowl type thing. You know the one. It There's might a chance not be available. That plate might not be available. Pork resting. Now look at those wonderful juices. I don't want the orange peel, but the reduced wine and stock and now pork fat with some of that rosemary, that I do want because this is such a homely, hearty dish that I kind of just want to throw it all in a bowl. But I know that's not Mr. Curry's approach. <laughs> and if I'm up against him, maybe I need to think differently. He's taken James's favourite plate. James is oh, going to be angry. What kicking the balls that is. <laughs> There's a range of bowls. Last five minutes. Can I just plate, I'll just plate two, just in case I don't like it. Some oh. things never change, yeah. and I like that. It's just, it's called insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, how am I going to plate this? hearty, bean-based dish. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What are you looking for from this pork? Um, for it to be cooked, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like got a very slightly pig tinge, which I like a lot. Um, I'm gonna keep this really chunky. I'm just gonna go in half. Just that slight blush. One minute 40. Blimey. Oh, oh, blimey. Is that what you wanted? It's not what I expected, but. Right. They are your walnuts. These are the walnuts. They are caramelised. Oh, I think they're pretty, pretty good. Oh, he's only pulled out the bag. One minute remaining. Oh, come on. Come on, James, you've got this. Come on now, that's going to be really hot. I don't know if I can do this in one minute. Remember, we only asked you to serve up one plate. A little drizzle that people can kind of mix in as they go. 30 seconds remaining. Oh God, which one do I like? I can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just leave one. Ah, it's... <laughs> on with oh. the... Uh, oh, do I do like a... Oh, James, you've got 10 seconds! You've got 10 seconds! 9, oh, 8, eight seven, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Step, step away. away. How, you, how do you feel? I like it. I feel... Oh! <laughs> 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 Sorry, I feel good. I feel, I feel okay, actually, yeah. Yeah, I feel it's good. It's time and then you just <laughs> battered it with crou croutons. Well, this is going to be tough. Let's get these into the sexies. Okay, boys, let's start with you, Ebers. Please reveal your dish. James, that's what I made. Oh, looks uh, familiar. Oh, really? <laughs> I have to be honest, the beans were gonna go one of two ways. Well, here we go. Ta-da. Oh, you did puree some. I did, yeah. Dig in, let's have an eat. We'll do some judging. Okay. We'll talk about this. So starting with yours, Ebers. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that's good. Oh. That pork is phenomenal. That is just perfect. You get so much flavour from it. That is one of those dishes where everything tastes exactly how I want it to taste. Yeah. And how it looks. And how There's it looks. There's kind of no surprises. Yeah. That fenugreek, it does add a real point of difference with the bitterness. But with the, like, the sort of deep umami-ish broth. Yeah. Lovely. Love the use of the stalks, which I did not do. I just blitzed it all. Um, pork's perfectly cooked. Yeah. It's tasty. Portioning up the second one, instantly just looks a bit more chefy, doesn't it? <laughs> Caramelised nuts, a couple of purees going on. Ebbers is feeling threatened. Cheers. 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 
Ooh, I love the sweetness of the caramelized walnuts, but still a bit of heat from almost, is it raw garlic? Mm -hmm. Coming through a little bit of like heat from raw garlic as well. And the pork is sticky good. Now that is a completely different flavor profile, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And the texture of the bread, mm. nice addition. You have every texture you could think of. That's what mine's missing. It's missing a crunch of bread and the walnut. The butter bean, I'm not gonna call it hummus, um, pate, <laughs> sure, is garlicky and thick mm. and just absolutely delicious. I think what this shows is how two chefs, who are both, close your ears, very accomplished in what yeah. they do. Yeah. They're both very good, but they can go in to make what sounded like a very similar dish at the beginning and ended up very different at the end. It is amazing. I mean, you've both had the same training. You worked together for 10 years. <laughs> I think both of those dishes are staggering. We made our decision. Two really interesting styles, like really interesting. We felt like Ebers, and bear in mind, we are stupid normals, we don't know what we're talking about, but you knew exactly what role each ingredient had to play on the plate and you made the most out of every single one. And therefore you're left with a phenomenal bowl of food. James, we felt like at points, you were slightly out of control. You didn't know where things were going. But what you were able to do was take things to the, to the edge and then bring them back. But it could have gone disastrously wrong, <laughs> but it didn't. But we like playing with danger. So bearing in mind we're complete normals and we're just eating two plates of delicious food that we could never accomplish I'm at our current it. state, but we are getting there, we're getting there. We are going to give today's win to James Curry. Congratulations. I think that was a very, very standout clear win today. I think the best way to describe that plate of food was bold. And it was bold in its approach, bold in its flavour, and it bowled us over. Oh. Do you think that's fair, Ebers? I think it's very fair. I, I think that was the homely rustic, and in a chef versus chef battle, James threw a few little chefy tricks at that, and I think it, it more than delivers. Thank you. Oh. I, I appreciate oh, that. Nice. It's nice, nice to be back. It's good to be back. Nicely back with a win. We'll get you back to normal and reviewing some crap in a bit, so <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> Well, over to you guys. Comment down below, give your opinions. Did you think we picked the right person? We know you can't eat it, but with your eyes, did we choose right? And it was very nice to have you yeah, back. Yeah, it's good. It's nice to be back. Good. If you thought it was nice to have James back, give the video a like. That's cheap, isn't it? Oh, that yeah. is cheap. Like <laughs> that, like that. And maybe we'll be able to persuade him to hang around for a little bit longer. <sighs> nice. Our Meal Packs app has been reborn. Meet Sidekick, your all-in-one kitchen companion taking you through every step to crushing the week's cooking. First, choose three to five delicious meals for the week. Sidekick will then generate one shopping list and every fresh ingredient you buy will be completely used up across all those dishes. Bye bye food waste. The step-by-step -step cooking is super easy too and you'll discover new dishes, techniques and ingredients the more you use it. And the best thing is, this is just the beginning. We'll constantly be adding new features and smarter ways to help us all crush the week's cooking. Plus, it's free for 30 days, so you might as well try it. Yeah, sorry, we made it all about James, that intro, didn't we? Are that you is. okay? Yeah. <laughs> Doing all right? Yeah. I'm like furniture. How are you? How are yeah. you in yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should just leave, and then we'll invite you back. And you... <laughs> 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 if that's what it takes to get confident. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm going to do my back in again.